Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with more Jade Starwind. We're in some Starfield. Just a moment. These are the ranger missions. Okay. All these missions and activities I haven't even touched. I haven't even touched the actual main.
Maybe we should stop for a moment at the memorial. You know, to pay our respects. Hard to believe it's been two decades since we were at war with the Collective, when it seems like only yesterday. Yesterday. Visitors are only allowed in the lobby, offices, or conferences. I'm going to be up front with you. I'm not happy visiting anything related to the Freestar Collective. But you lead, and I'll follow. Spaceport. The UC never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? Guests can make themselves comfortable in the lobby. down at the spaceport. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? Ah, so you're the one they called about. Failed to mention you were collective born. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and it maybe was just a bad connection. That now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Hmm. I was afraid of that. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? You're really gonna push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. I'm listening. In the end, we all just want to be safe in our little fiefdoms, don't we? And if the United Colonies abuses this Terramorph data, I'm not gonna just trade one threat for another. I never was the sort to turn my back on people in need. Well, Captain, you, you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm gonna need the following concessions. Oh, what you need. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these Terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. Stop being stingy. You go in once. You get everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. Freestar scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? We have an accord. Excellent. Follow me. I 
I'm waiting. I'm waiting on you, ma'am. Official business? Talk to the ambassador. to Deputy McIntyre. We'll coordinate the necessary oversights. To unlikely allies, I guess. Someone insults you. It's a shame House Varun abandoned their embassy. You bet you could have learned a lot from one another.
Hacker extraordinaire. tree like this before in my entire life. It'd actually be more fascinating if its branches weren't blocking our way. Don't leave any of that behind. Turn them off. Thought I turned them down. up here.
came out of woodwork. Thank you, give me all that. Liars. What I need.
you got in here? Give me a digi. Give me a digi pick, please. Don't do that. Holy crap, don't do that. I ain't got nothing. Y'all done drunk all the beer. What's up, Pam? Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul Sis, talk to you later. Seems punishment becomes providence. A reminder we can never do. I think you need to get rid of some of that gear. Damn it, I can't get the fool. Oh, y'all trash. Call it trash. 
And I can't get the meal. Better be able to get this though. Yes, sir. Better be able to get all that. What's up, yeah. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the venom tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? <laughs> Tell me, though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? Truly. I take it you didn't have such an experience where you were, then, hmm? Yes, the entire embassy was thrown into lockdown, trapping me in my quarters, disabling the Venom Tree's filters, and arming the defenses. A disconcerting experience, to say the least. Was the rest of the city spared? Harmless spores, you have my word, but uh, hard to navigate. Hence why I was guiding you through the intercoms to restore the environmental controls. <laughs> and release me. It is the sap of the tree that gives it its... Well, <laughs> perhaps not a topic for this exact moment. But I must know of the rest of the city. Does it still stand? Yeah, more time could be spent tidying, I suppose, but... I entertain so few guests, and fewer welcome ones. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh, ah, an archive code. So, the UC requires information, then. On terror morphs, presumably, hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Yes, sir. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. Come on now. But if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy, with little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. As the chair of Constellation, I take personal responsibility in vouching for this man's intent. Why you gotta do all that, though? He'll keep his word. Well, then. I you shall gotta light my fear. conscience. Stop. Please, follow me. I make my own decisions, ma'am.
up and it's stuck and it's stuck and it's up. Up and it's Let's stuck. Hope it still works. And there. Let it be used for good. Why are you bothering to carry all that junk? All right, let's get up out of here. Uh, matter of fact, let me look at my stuff and see what's valuable. That deep recon space suit is ooh, okay. Okay, you might got me here. You might got me here. You might have to put this thing on. Hmm. Equip. <laughs> I could see. I can see my face. <laughs> Trying to make sure I don't have any miscellaneous stuff. Here's the miss. Uh, keeping them daily picks. Keys, codes, cars, keys, codes, cars, tags, stuff I'm keeping. Okay, the miss. Ain't, ain't too much in there. I'm heavy as hell, though, so I might have to look at these weapons. I have to get rid of some of these. Is that a cutter? Is that a long cutter? I basically got most of them anyway, so other th these other ones I can get rid of. Yeah. Yeah, the Solstice can go, the Equinox can go, Calibrity. And keep the Eon. Alright, well. I'm too fat. Well, I'll run my way up. You tell me I'm too fat. anything that would be dope if I can 
What a train at the most advanced technology corporation in the settled systems. I need the train. Okay. This stuff on me. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Like. Stop. All right, we're going to go to the spaceport because I want my go to my ship. My ship. When you are, Captain. Hey, -o.
what's blocked? Hmm. Chemistry. Need to be right one in chemistry. Astronomy. All right, that's all I can do for that. Take a journey with me where I sell all this stuff. <laughs> Other things for you. Cause I need to sell. Shank, you're gone.
Smuggler's Urban War Eagle. Yeah, I gotta put that on. Space suit. This is dope. I'm not selling that. Long as it say crafting. Okay. My weight is still 496. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, the Econo Hall might be it. Mm. 
<laughs> I'm almost there. I might wait. I think I can wait. Cause that got 2280, 550 fuel, 940 hull, and it got literally everything. I could save some of my moolah. I can save some of my moolah. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Sure, how about it? Shape your ship. <laughs> Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. All right, let's put some of this jacket back in here. Hey, get away. I need to be by my ship. I'll head to my crew position. Oh yeah, 137.
Alright, we're good. I got a lot of stuff. You might be interested in. Now I'm good, pimp. I got places to be. Slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. The whole department is in the process of recovering, myself included. If I'm being honest, I still have nightmares of my team turning on one another. Things can be replaced and wounds can be healed, but building back that trust in each other is going to take time. Luckily, we've built a good culture here, and we hired some new recruits who are. Inspired by what you did. I've got faith we'll survive this. I do. Thanks to you, the spaceport is up and running again, which is good for commerce, but also for smugglers. We've received a tip that someone has been bringing in contraband into New Atlantis through the spaceport, and we need to investigate. Well, technology-wise, criminals have always been one step ahead. No different now than it was centuries ago. Smugglers often have a fancy shielding or scan jammers that allow them to evade the checks. But luckily, we can still use old-fashioned detective work to track these criminals down. Great. First, speak to one of the technicians over by landing pad B. Ask them if they've noticed any suspicious activity. Once you've gotten a lead, cross-reference their testimony with ship records over at Aegis. When you're done, report back to me with your findings. Yes, sir. Remember that job you did for Agent Plato? I finally had a reason to call in that favor he owes us. I asked him to pull the names and cargo of every potential smuggling ship that docked in the last month. He said he'll have a slate ready for you to examine. Bet. There should be a few working on the landing pads. If they don't know anything, move on to another. Right now, we don't have any good leads. But if anyone's seen anything, it will give us something to go on. See you later. Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be concise.
Captain. You're back sooner than... Oh, oh wait. Did... Did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe? And Balmore? We're all in agreement. So the old man was still lurking around in there. Fine work, Captain. You're welcome. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? Vanguard business? On the record? What response? Working at the office of Interstellar. On to the next. Captain, we've been expecting you. Please approach the monitoring station and we will go over the rules. Welcome, Captain, to the archives. To proceed, you will need to deposit your codes into the three corresponding receptacles. Once they are verified, I will open the door. Your data resides in Unit 18. You will not be able to access any of the other units. Once you've collected your data, return to the entrance. You may insert the first of the archival codes when you're ready to begin.
Captain. Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Time for us to start getting some real answers and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. I, yes, it will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This, this is us starting to put some things right. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Wow. Wow. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so... I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Maybe. And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here. Your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this, but we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. And they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. Give me all the funds, please.
lived in New Atlantis almost my entire life, and I had no idea this place even existed. The UC certainly excels at keeping secrets. Your friend's gonna have to wait out here. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Right. So I elected to trade my freedom for my continued existence. But such is the life of a soldier. Very astute. That's my daughter. My progeny. You've been working alongside. Has she shared with you the nature of our little family? Eh. Someone was born next of kin. <laughs> you 
nest next to the one where they were born, or where a family member resides. I simply use my own personal knowledge and the information our group collects for me to track them down and set things right. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlaise. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies' more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him. However you're able. Uh-oh. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. Speak to Deputy McIntyre. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that someone might be tying up this loose end at long last. Though I would ask you, do not make the mistake of confusing me for a simple cutthroat. Again, why didn't you do it yourself? for you when you have a moment. <laughs> yes, what? Captain, did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy. Surprised me too when I learned it, but the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years and kept far from any major decision making. But I do think it's worth re emphasizing no one else can know about this. All right. The major doesn't have clearance for this sort of information. 
and she certainly doesn't need a distraction from her current very important work. Which is why I need you to keep this to yourself. No, they really shouldn't. And bringing up what you've learned outside this building will make you, Captain, look like a crazy person. I don't want that, and you certainly don't want that. So you need to keep this to yourself. Now, was there something in particular you wanted to discuss about your meeting? Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. Well, what's being offered in return? Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Ha. Just so long as you make ha, every ha, effort ha. to bring the man in alive. Of now, course. was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? Of course. The Den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf, the second star station actually to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake. But I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain, and remind you of the importance of discretion. Yes, ma'am. All day long. Yes. Where to next?
have something for you when you have a moment. Here, I have something for you. You're welcome. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. I think I can handle my field collecting and manage to keep up. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. Wonder where this will all lead. Ask whatever you'd like. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know, but uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the star field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> I hope you got something out of that. Bye.
like a small decision, but they all add up over time, and it's paralyzed. You really start to think. Buddy, it's coffee. Pick one, get out of the way, and let us get on with our lives. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sure. Cappuccino, double dairy, and no whip? I don't appreciate your tone. And no, I will not make whatever it is you just said. Because this place is a disorganized mess. What you ask me to do is literally impossible. Oh, I understand impossible. Fine. You want to organize? There's a lot. I'm fine. I really am. I'm just saying. None of those rocks you spent. I guess you could say I've always had it. Once you've been all over, like I have, you might find yourself in something like this too.
The shoes. They ruined it. on Vectera, right? Uh, you flew in on the uh, frontier. What's the word for that again? Ugh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Sidonia is an industrial Even town. bigger. The people there. Dropping off a few choice items? Go ahead. Bye for now.
just isn't the same as the real thing. Scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit.
drifting off right away, or do you need a little bit of time? Alright, we're going to end it right there. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. You will see more Starfield tomorrow night. I appreciate everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Peace. Peace, peace.